Single top is ideal for use on single sliding wooden wardrobe doors weighing up to 45 kilograms. Buying the hardware separately allows you to choose a door that matches your own tastes. The kit. Track. Hangers. Fixtures and fittings pack. The tools. Drill. Tape measure. Spirit level. Screwdriver, manual or electric. Installing the track to the wall. Measure the location of the track height from the floor and clearly mark out with a pencil. Position the track against the height marking onto the wall and check it is level using a spirit level. Using a pencil, draw a line along the top of the full length of the track. Holding the track firmly in place, screw the first track fixing into the wall. Check the track level again and screw the second wall fixing in place at the opposite end. Once you are happy that the track is still level, use the other screws to secure the track in place. Fitting the hangers to the door. To attach the hardware to the door, start by marking out the two hanger positions 50 millimeters from each edge of the door. Draw a line down the face of the door where the hanger is to be screwed to. Place the hanger on the door face, aligning with the line along the centre of the pencil line. Line up the curve with the top of the door and then mark out the pilot holes for the hanger's screws. Drill the two pilot holes for each hanger. Then, using an electric or manual screwdriver, attach the hangers to the door using the screws provided in the kit, ensuring that the wheel is facing the correct way. Hanging the door on the track. There are two ways of hanging the door on the track. The easiest way is to slide the door in from the end of the track. However, if the space is limited and this is not possible, then you can lift the door onto the track at a 30 degree angle to locate the hangers and then gently hang the door vertically. Test that the door is running correctly and smoothly by sliding the door up and down the track. Fitting the guide to the floor. Once the door is in place, we need to fit the floor guide. Place the two-part guide either side of the door and mark out the pilot hole positions. Drill the pilot holes with the electric drill if necessary. Using the electric or manual screwdriver, use the screws provided in the kit to secure the guides to the floor. Fitting the stops. Now we need to attach the stops so that the door doesn't run out of the track in operation. Locate a suitable position for the stops and fix them into place.
final adjustments. Finally, adjust the door height using the slotted hole in the hangers so it slides 5mm above the floor with smooth operation and with no obstructions. When all the clearances are correct, drill the pilot holes for the final lock screws and fit the lock-off screws in place. A full range of accessories are available for this system, including fascia, handles and locks. Visit www.pchenderson.com for more information.